sometimes I wonder the veterinarian, like, who did the first FHO? Because it's, it shouldn't work, but it does. Hey guys, my name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I'm gonna go over what the FHO is, the femoral head osteectomy. The femoral head osteectomy is a surgical procedure that, as a veterinarian, I perform to correct hip dysplasia. I'm gonna go over three things today for the FHO. Why we do it, how we do it, and what to expect post-op with an FHO. FHOs are completed on bad hips. A bad hip can be from a broken bone, but more commonly it's from hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a bad hip, so a dysplastic hip, a hip that has arthritis, a hip that has a shallow socket, or a bad head of the femur. E either way, it's just a bad hip, and when the dog goes to move and walk, it grinds and it causes pain. The goal of the FHO is to relieve pain, solve that problem. Instead of giving long-term anti-inflammatories and other meds and having the dog still limp, the thought is, if we did an FHO, can we help the dog to feel better? An FHO is a surgical procedure that when you have the hip, we're going to cut the head of the femur off. And by cutting the head of the femur off, there is no more grinding of the hip socket. So the big muscles of the leg and all those all those tendons that support the leg and those muscles keep the leg in the right spot. And no longer are we relying on that socket to keep the leg where it should be, but we're relying on all that soft tissue of the back leg. I know it sounds crazy, how is that possible? But the dog has a lot of really strong muscles back there and those muscles and the joint forms a false joint and that allows the dog to walk smoothly with no more grinding of the hip. So with the surgery, you know, we're gonna go in, we're gonna cut into the hip, we're gonna take a little saw and cut the head of the femur off, we're gonna take that out, and then the socket that used to be like this and grinding is now a floating false joint. So there's no more grinding and pain, that's the goal. We're trying to relieve pain. Now this is a salvage procedure and we're not, we're not just like solving every single problem out there, but we're solving the problem of pain. And now all those big muscles of, of the hip and the butt can support that leg so the dog can walk and not be painful. Now there's going to be some laxity in that joint, but having a non-painful joint and being able to use the leg is way, way more comfortable. Now, there are other options you can do like, you know, a total hip, but the FHO is a great solution for a doggy that has really, really, really bad hip dysplasia or a broken bone. Long term, a veterinarian is shooting to resolve pain, as we already touched upon. Also, long term, we may have a little bit of a different gait or, or walk because there's no more joint there. But the dog should use the leg quite well. If the doggy fails to use the leg as well as we may like, a veterinarian may do some follow-up x-rays to make sure that there's no more grinding. Because if the FHO doesn't remove everything and we leave any debris in there, or if the bone still makes contact with the hip, that's a problem. And we need to go back in and clean it up a little bit. There should be zero contact between the hip and the leg bones. And if there's zero contact, that means there's zero pain, and the dog should use the leg quite well. Of course, we're gonna limit the activity for a couple days, a week or two for the soft tissue, but overall, the veterinarian is gonna encourage the pet owner to have the dog use the leg because nothing's broken, nothing's plated, we just remove the bad stuff, and we want the dog to use the leg. So in most cases, things like cold laser therapy may be encouraged, maybe you know, cold pack or hot pack may be encouraged, but in general, using the leg is a good idea to get that mobility going. The veterinarian will of course provide information regarding post-op care. If your dog had an FHO, I'd be so awesome if you'd comment below and tell us how it went.